What if free people could live secure in the knowledge that their security did not rest upon the threat of instant U.S. retaliation to deter a Soviet attack, that we could intercept and destroy strategic ballistic missiles before they reached our own soil or that of our allies. I know this is a formidable technical task, one that may not be accomplished before the end of this century. I call upon the scientific community in our country, those who gave us nuclear weapons, to turn their great talents now to the cause of mankind and world peace, to give us the means of rendering these nuclear weapons impotent and obsolete. Announcement of the Star Wars Defense Initiative has sparked international outrage. The Central American Federation has announced that Nicaragua will join. Working too hard. Another foreign embassy has closed its doors today as Iraq joins a growing list of nations severing diplomatic ties with the United States. What so and so does that why they don't make a good grade back there. Chinese Premier Zhao Ziyang head the Asian People's Alliance, which now includes China, North Korea. Be allowed to go free. Well now, my friend. Well now. Oh, check it out. All right. They look pretty cool, though, man. I would say they were way off course. This is very unusual. You do something, Mr. Teasdale. Unprepared and without allies, the U.S. is challenged to defend itself against three deadly foes. On the west coast, the Asian People's Alliance. At the southern border, the Central American Federation. Along our age east coast, the Euro-Socialist Pact. Canada, by remaining neutral, has mercifully prevented an attack from the north. Fortress America begins. Please subscribe to General Fun for less dishonor.